Today we're going to do a security film installation. So a lot of times people have uh, issues with their sliding glass door. Uh, people break through the sliding glass door to gain access into the home. And today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be installing a solar control combination security film. It's an eight mil security film. One of the most important things with security film is we are going to install a Dow Corning 995. Now what a Dow Corning 995 does is it secures the film to the frame of the window, thereby making it more structurally sound. So let's get started. So one of the first things we're gonna do is we are going to fill up our tank. You don't actually need a tank. You can use a spray bottle. That's totally fine. I'm gonna use a tank um, just for convenience. Um, what I like to do is fill up the tank just about, um, about a third of the way. And I'm gonna go ahead and put in, so for every gallon, this is about a two and a half gallon tank. So I'm gonna put in what is that? One, two, three, four, four, five pumps. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five. All right, that's enough uh, solution. Um, the solution I'm using is called Slip and Stick. You can use really any solution that you want. Just really test it out and see how it works for you. I use Slip and Stick because it doesn't coagulate. And when it doesn't coagulate, essentially it doesn't turn white inside your tank. Um, you can use Dawn dish soap, but if you use Dawn dish soap, it does have coagulants in it. So make sure to clean out your tank uh, when you're done. That includes your uh, spray bottles as well. Otherwise, it'll build up this white foam. Um, that is what coagulation is. So I'm going to go ahead and set my tank. I'm going to grab my pump, and I'm going to get this pump up to pressure. So one of the things I like to use is I like to use this Milwaukee uh, air tire inflator, or inflator that they call it. Um, it's awesome because you could just set your um, set your pressure and go, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to get this tied down. I'm just going to set this to let's get it set up to 90 psi. All right, it's all set. Now that it's set, I'm going to go ahead and take my inflator off. Dunzo. These things are awesome because they make your life so much easier, um, especially if you're working with a tank. And if you're on a bigger job, what's really nice about this is you can simply set it, set it next to the tank and it'll auto, um, auto fill your tank. So as soon as you drop below say 60 PSI, it'll refill it back to 60 PSI. I like to run it a little higher. Some people don't, just my preference. All right, now that I got my tank completely set up, I'm just gonna go ahead and shake everything that's in there, get it nice and mixed up, grab my hose. And when you're working with a tank, just be sure to put, put it on the outside. So there's an inlet and an outlet. There you go. All right, so one of the things I like to do, I like to have paper towels on me constantly. It's super helpful. So I just set them up on a little bungee and put them behind my back. I've just been comfortable with it. I've just got some of the staples. I've got a scotch Bright blue pad, my Ulfa blades, a pretty small squeegee just to use, another squeegee. You don't need all everything. I just like having everything on me. It just makes the job a lot easier. So one of the first things we're gonna do is we're gonna clean the glass. Remember, we already measured it, um, but let's verify. Even though we already cut it, uh, so we're sitting at 32 and 72 and a half. That's with a quarter inch gap. We're gonna make this work. Um, we already got everything cut and we're ready to go. So one of the first things you wanna do is clean off the glass. So I went ahead and already sprayed it. Just gonna give it a quick squeegee. Boom. It's nice and squeegeed off. I'm gonna take my big application squeegee out of the way. And now we're gonna scrape it. So we're gonna go ahead and actually scrape the glass, get all the contamination off. So we're gonna use our scraper. It's a Triumph. And as you notice, it does a really good job of taking all the contamination off the glass. Really focus on the bottom because that's really what builds up a lot of dirt and contamination. And right around the handle as well. All right. Now that I got that done, what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna take a paper towel. I'm just gonna wipe off these edges, pull any of the dirt away 
from the edge between the seal and the glass, as you can tell, ton of dirt. So I'm just gonna fold my paper towel, continue to get all that dirt out of there. Another thing you can do is if you have a sprayer, look at all that. And don't worry, it's my house. What I mean by it's my house is uh, I'll get that all cleaned up. I'm not too concerned about it. So I went ahead and resprayed my glass. Now I'm just gonna wipe down the edges of the frame because a lot of that dirt will actually climb back up. And I just don't want it to. I'm gonna give it one final squeegee. I'm gonna start from the bottom, drag it up, get to my corner. That's it. So one of the most important things about this film is cutting it on the machine, getting your glass very clean, much like every other film, and preparation is key. Like I always like to say, proper planning and preparation prevents piss poor performance. So let's not have that. All right, so here's my film. It's super thick. So what we wanna do, we wanna be able to spray this glass decently. So I like to start, I don't like to go all the way to the top. As you saw in the last video, I like to go just about there. Now, what a reverse roll is, is spraying the inside where the liner is. And then what happens is, is that water creates a vacuum to suck that film, that liner rather, back onto itself. So what we're wanting to do is simply this. Get it nice and set up there. Roll it onto itself and then tighten it. Because what's going to happen is when this is nice and tightened, as you roll down, that liner is going to go back onto itself on the back side of the film. And when you're doing this by yourself, it makes it so much easier. I'm gonna give it one last spray. One thing I didn't mention that I do have is I've got a four inch uh, flat out. I think this is medium. It's a, actually a hard uh, and it's actually six inch. So this six inch squeegee is gonna really help me slam down this film and make sure that it's nice and set. As you notice, size wise, I'm on the money. So I'm just gonna bring my film down. I got that top set. I let it come down just a little bit. Have it come back up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my liner, put my liner at the end, and now I can adjust my film if I need to. Looks pretty well set there. So on all four edges, I've got my film fully tacked down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come right here, get it nice and sprayed. I'm just gonna use a flat. This is an extruded channel and allows for a much uh, harder uh, squeegee. So I'm gonna use this guy while holding my film to pull out that water and just tack it into position. So now that I have it tacked into position, I'm gonna come down, firm pressure all the way to the bottom. Now I've got my film set, so it's not gonna shift on me left or right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this squeegee. We'll give it another quick spray down the center and at the top. Now I'm gonna use some good force to really get this film set, starting from the top. That's it. Just like that, over overlapping strokes to really get all that water out is key. So just watch that line. You'll see where you've obviously squeegee and make sure that you get all that water out. If you wanna use this thicker type of squeegee, the reason why is we really need that water out because it takes quite a long time for this film to cure. It can take up to a hundred days.
So as I just did, I started again on this side, just to keep my strokes even all the way down and the film doesn't shift on me. This is eighth inch glass. So while it is tempered hardened glass, you wanna use caution in really pushing this down. So I'm taking it really to the max pressure and I don't wanna go anything beyond that. Otherwise you could potentially crack this glass. That'd be the last thing you wanna do. Just nice even strokes. It's part of the reason why a lot of guys struggle with this type of film and why it champagnes. Let me explain what champagning is. So champagning is when you're actually squeegeeing and you, you over squeegee or you pull water in one serrated direction and then you try to push it back the other direction. And the type of soap really affects it as well. Um, it'll actually create this like milky wave through your film. That's why even consistent strokes overlapping one time is gonna be your best, your best way of doing this that's gonna avoid any sort of champagning and it's gonna create an awesome job. Now we're gonna give this some time to cure, but before we do that, I'm gonna take a hard card. This is called bumping the edges. When you bump the edges, you're taking the water at the edge and really drying it out. And that way you don't have that water come back into your film. With security film, it's not as much of an issue because it is so thick and it's got such an aggressive adhesive but it's good practice to do, run that water out. It's gonna make for a much cleaner job. Again, proper planning, proper preparation on this is really key to getting an outstanding job. And there's no contamination on this. Took my time, did it right. Now we're gonna move on to the second panel. These often get in the way. I'm a little lucky here because I can pull them back, stick them behind this guy. That gives me a lot of space. So instead of just getting started, move stuff out of your way, get prepped, and then get ready to go. Again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to spray this down. So first thing I'm going to do, then I'm going to squeegee it to take any big chunks of dirt, debris, completely off. Just like that. Right now I just saw a lot of dirt at the bottom. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get this nice and sprayed out. Now instead of waiting to last, because this is on the inside portion of fixed glass without a screen, what I wanna do because it's recessed in here is I want to wipe down the frames so that when I clean it, no dirt gets stuck in there. So just wipe down these frames nice so that dirt doesn't come back in. Now what I'm going to do again, give it another quick spray. Now I'm going to scrape my glass. Perfect, now that I got that done, I see a little bit of dirt. So what I'm gonna do is another trick. I'm gonna take my gator blade. I'm gonna come in this edge and I'm gonna pull it down, sticking the edge of the gator blade inside of the seal. And it's just gonna pull, as you can see, any of the dirt that's there. I'm gonna do the same thing after folding it, do the same thing up here, coming all the way down. As you can tell, a lot of debris. Now that I got it fully clean, I'm gonna go ahead and spray it one more time. Now I'm gonna give it one final squeegee. A good tip is always brush off your squeegee. Again, I like to start from the bottom, work my way up. Which means I get full coverage. Now we're gonna grab our film and get it on. All right, same method to the madness. We are going to tighten our roll. Just a little bit more than what it was. 
spray my liner, roll up, peel my liner back. What I didn't do on the last one is I didn't hold this. What, do you, what you could do is you could use your sprayer. Another thing you can do is you could just wet your finger and do that as well, just like that. It just, just allows for such a cleaner overall setup. Pardon my sweating, it's a little warm in here. All right, now that I got that prepped, I'm gonna go ahead and spray my glass and start from the bottom. Remember, I, I don't like doing the top like four inches because I don't want it to over slide on me. I am gonna put quite a bit on here. And if I see anything in my film, I'm gonna check both sides just like I just did. And it's actually on this back side, so I don't have to worry about it. All right, now I'm gonna set my film. Another perfect cut. Pretty darn tight, actually. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line this up. Get that pulled away. All right, line up my film on all four edges because it's just cut once. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It's exactly where we want it to be. Now we're going to spray it. Use our tacking squeegee. Make sure that it hasn't moved on you. That one moved just a little tad bit. Just like that. Now I'm going to hold it. I'm going to give it a light squeegee. Light squeegee back. Just like that. I'm going to work my way all the way down, making sure it's not shifting left or right. Just like that. Now that I have it set, I'm going to use my application squeegee. That's all she wrote. Grab this guy. Let's get her going. So, a little firmer with this one. Just like that. If you feel like you left water behind, the best time to do it is right away. The reason why I pushed down just like that right now is I wanted to just give myself a good anchoring starting point. Just because I can hardly see. Nice, even strokes, overlapping. <laughs> done, we got this one done. Go ahead and throw away the liner. I'm done with my tank. Again, now I'm just going to bump the edges. Just pulling any water that's on the edges. That's all she wrote. All right, guys, that's an installation of security film. This is a silver 8 mil security film application. If you want to see more subscribe down below as well as wait for the next episode it's going to be coming out soon i'm going to show you guys how to apply dow corning 995 which is the structural sealant that really ties this in have a good day